absolutely freezing today. Um, I think uh, this morning it was about minus six. We forecasted uh, minus 16 this evening and then minus 20 over the weekend. So we had, uh, we had a big chunk of snow uh, over the last couple of days. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's about, I don't know, 15, maybe, maybe 20 centimeters tops of snow. But uh, with the cold weather coming in, that has a real potential of freezing pretty rock solid. So uh, today I need to uh, clear our driveway and uh, we have around, a, I don't know, probably about a three or four kilometer track to go up to the main road. So I'm going to see what I can do about clearing that. Uh, Dats is out doing her uh, egg deliveries today, so I want to make sure that she can get home this evening. Um, I don't know if you can see, but look how beautiful it is today. Yeah, really feels like winter's come. So uh, I've had to make some modifications for clearing the snow. Um, the tractor uh, that we have is a front loader bucket, uh, but the bucket doesn't have a uh, straight edge. It has kind of teeth to dig in. So uh, when uh, when clearing with it, you have a real potential of just digging down into the ground and causing yourself a much bigger issue when everything uh, uh, defrosts. So uh, what I've done, and uh, the jury is still out on whether or not it's going to work, is I've taken a uh, plasticky kind of flexible plastic pipe, cut a slit into it, and then uh, put that over the teeth. This is the right. This is the pipe that I'm using. You can see it's around uh, one inch thick. Uh, it has flexibility, so it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't crack when putting it on. And then the idea is to just put this over the teeth, uh, and then this should float across the uh, the top of the ground, stopping it from digging in and uh, scooping it in. Now, obviously, a bucket is not the ideal situation for um, uh, for clearing snow. Uh, a snow pusher or a snow blade would be better because as you push it across it pushes it across to the side of the road um, unfortunately I didn't have the budget for that this year uh, so we're kind of just having to make do so uh, the main issue with the bucket of course is that as you're going across uh, snow is overfilling across the uh, side that goes back into the road so you end up having to do three sometimes even four passes in something that you could have done with two but um you know needs must these situations happen so um i think let's see let's see how this uh, fits onto the uh let's see how this fits onto the bucket and uh go up and down the driveway and see uh if we've had any major improvements now i'd love to use a line for this to get a perfect line but uh have one, so. so I think ideally I'd use a table saw or something with a fixed blade like a skill saw to be able to uh, cut this groove but uh, unfortunately I don't have one. I looked into it, apparently chainsaws are pretty good for uh, cutting this but uh, I'm a bit worried about uh, the plastic plastic melt getting into my fins on my chainsaw. I think I've opted to take the uh, angle grinder. Um, I think it's going to kick up a load of hot plastic but uh, let's uh, let's give it a go and we'll kind of see how we're going with it. It's uh, it's either going to work or it's not going to work so uh, let's see how let's see how things go. Okay, so the original line, I've got a line cut out here and now I've got to slowly go deeper. Now the encouraging thing is, I don't know what this material is, but it's definitely got uh, a lot of kind of soft rubber plastic in it. So I think this is actually going to be very durable for this job. So 
Okay, I'm just gonna go up and down here until we finally get in and then work out whether or not we can just hammer this over or whether I need to cut out a wider tube. <laughs> a bit of a messy job I would probably say if you've got the tools I would not use an angle grinder for this it was uh, it's like rubber when this gets hot and uh, it's hot liquid and sticky okay so it's a bit of a messy job but let me go and get a mallet and we'll go and see if we can get this hammered on now and uh, see how we're uh, see whether or not we're able to do anything See the teeth I go through the metal tube, uh, the rubber tube, and then the tube comes across. So as that comes across the ground, it's going to stop anything from digging in. Um, the only thing that I might foresee is that it comes out quite a lot underneath here, so maybe it's not going to be able to scrape as much off of the ground, and maybe compact a little bit down. But um, it will be a lot better, a lot better than uh, than this, as you can see. Okay, that seems to have worked out really nicely. The, uh, as suspected, it's left, I don't know, probably around an inch of snow kind of packed down on the top. So it isn't ideal because uh, if that melts a little bit and then refreezes, it's going to be a sheet of ice. But uh, even if I have to do that last bit by hand for the driveway, it's uh, a lot less backbreaking than uh, having to shift it all. Like you can see from the piles that have come down there is absolutely no uh, debris or anything like that so that's great because uh, first time I tried to do this I came down a um, came down kind of a dip the bucket dug in and then uh, when I dumped the snow there was probably uh, half a bucket of driveway in there so you know you've got to kind of make do with make do with what you got but uh, ah all fun and games, eh? Hello, brother. Hello there.
Well, overall, I have to say I am really happy with the results. Um, it saved me hours of back braking work. Um, it it has left a little bit of snow on the ground, um, but um, I'm really, really happy with the results. I hope you've really enjoyed the video. We'll see you again next time. Toodles.